this is really interesting. Active, activists are calling for the daughter of a controversial Venezuelan official to be booted out of Australia, claiming that she's living a lavish lifestyle here on money stolen by her father from the Venezuelan people. On the face of it, being Lucia Rodriguez seems pretty sweet. She's a Venezuelan film student studying in Sydney and posting Insta pics like any other 20-something-year-old. But all is not as it seems. This is Lucia recently being abused by protesters at Bondi Beach while a bodyguard tries to protect her. They claim she's living large in Australia while her homeland is crumbling. And they blame her father, the mayor of Caracas, Jorge Rodriguez. Stop, stop. Venezuela is a country that has simply stopped functioning. Corruption in Venezuela is a big problem. The government has mismanaged the economy. So I would say that they're in a pretty they're in pretty dire circumstances right now. And you think our pollies are bad? Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro's government is accused of human rights violations, media censorship, money laundering and drug trafficking. Supermarket shelves are empty, hospitals are falling apart and the crime rate is soaring with inflation hitting 800% last year, making cash almost worthless. The country's down to its last $10 billion. And Lucia's father, Jorge Rodriguez, is a key political official. A petition to deport Lucia has garnered almost 30,000 signatures. Organisers claim Miss Rodriguez critiques capitalist countries but enjoys her life in Australia while using her family's stolen and blood money. Yes, it's probably true that she's enjoying a much better standard of living and quality of life here than the, the people in Venezuela right now. But we could probably say that for the children of many foreign diplomats. I think that anybody has the right to study here, to come and study peacefully and safely without harassment, and that includes Lucia. There is no suggestion Lucia has committed a crime, and we understand her Australian visa is valid. So is not fair to be calling for her deportation? We did reach out to Lucia, but she shut down her Instagram account and couldn't be reached. Pablo is Venezuelan and started the petition to deport Lucia. He joins us now. Pablo, in, in your opinion, what has Lucia done wrong? Um, well, uh, probably nothing. I mean, uh, she, she's uh, a person that she's just living here like an international student. But um, you, you have to understand, um, she is the daughter of a very heavyweight politician. She, she's a, it's, a, it's a country where people, normal uh, Venezuelan citizens, cannot uh, afford probably go study overseas or can't even, now, right now, can't even afford enough food or medicine or stuff like that. So when you are Venezuelan and you see uh, uh, this girl posting a life that is a dream for any single normal citizen in Venezuela, so that that's uh, make people really, really angry. So, but why the, the t I, like, I understand Ed, the anger with the, the politicians. I, I get that. Why Sorry, the, I understand yes. you, that you would be angry with Venezuelan politicians. I understand that. Why do you think, though, that the, the right way to do this is to go after or target one of their kids, a, a daughter? Well, uh, first of all, uh, she's not that's a kid. She's 18. She's over 18 years old. She's sure. a uh, university student, so she knows what the father is doing. She knows the politics. She knows what's going on. The Venezuela is related to corruption, to human right violations. See, Venezuela is a government. Venezuela is related also even to drug trafficking. So it's very un important to understand where. Lucia's and Lucia's family is getting the money. This money is coming into Australia and is probably related to corruption and all these crimes. Tell us how desperate the situation is in Venezuela at the moment. It is terrible, desperate, it's very bad. And at this point, um, there are uh, more than 40 people dead, uh, all the protesting. Uh, the National Guard, which is the police, uh, let's say official police in the government they are shooting for example real bullets and they are also shooting uh, tear gas directly to the person uh, there is a video on internet uh, where uh, a, a, a big uh, military uh, vehicle is driving over people protesting that's something that in any country in the world in any democratic country in the world would be highly condemned Pablo, I understand that you've chosen not to use your surname for this interview. Can you explain to us why? The reason is uh, we, are, we have families in Venezuela and the, the situation is so...
complicated, so dangerous right now, and so corrupt that uh, these uh, our families could get in some trouble for say that they can get arrested. They can easily go to the houses and. Uh, put some drugs on the house and say, oh, you have a, a drug charges and they tell you arrested. They are arresting people right now for no reason, just for being protesting. There are a lot of political imprisonment. So the situation is very, very bad and very critical. So we all are, are afraid a little bit for our safety, family safety. Well, Pablo, we appreciate you speaking to us tonight in the circumstances. Thank you. No, thank you to you. Thank you.